you the brightest in the bluegrass. This is Everyday Kentucky. Well, look at that. We are back for another show. Here we go again. You know, I feel like every time uh, Jim calls off, they love to send you in yeah, here. You so we're so glad you're here. And take I'm a look at this here. little hot one. I know. <laughs> we love when they add new guests to this the show. This has been a fun it's, week for you all. It has, but I'm so glad you're here I'm hanging so out with to be us. With you guys. So, hello, I'm India Jones. That one over there is Chad Hedrick. And look at that. We are joined by our very special guest host, UK volleyball player, Azar. Bonnie Taylor, thanks for joining us. I'm, I'm like so starstruck. Oh, don't be, don't be. I am. I'm starstruck right now. You guys are, you guys are the celebrities here. So oh, thank I'm you. excited to be here. Stop it. Just rolled and a big that. birthday. Oh. Yes. Big birthday shout out to this. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. You're so welcome. tell us a little bit about, of course, we all know about you, but go ahead and tell our viewers a little bit about yourself. Yeah, so I'm a Johnny Teeler. I play volleyball here at Kentucky, um, going into my fifth and final season. And Aww. so really excited to get back on top. We've had four really good years and want to leave that on a bank. So I'm really excited about it. So of course, Fan Fest is coming up. Are you yep. really excited to let everyone know a little bit more about yourself? I'm so excited. I, the best part about playing at Kentucky and being here is the fans and BBN. And so to be able to have the opportunity to talk to them and take pictures and live out their dreams and all that stuff, I'm really excited to do that for them. So. What are you trying to add to the team for this upcoming year? God, I think one thing that's always changing is leadership and it changes from year to year. And so to be a, another good leader for this team and obviously get kills and all that stuff is going to be really important as <laughs> yeah, well but absolutely. we have a big freshman class coming in and so to kind of lead those girls into another winning season is going to be awesome. And I feel like too it's probably really exciting for you and, and your teammates there are probably young girls in the crowd who are aspiring to be yeah. like you all one day and play for a, a college so talk to me about sure. getting to interact with them already and then having this big bigger opportunity to meet more fans of yeah. BBN and introduce yourselves to them. Craig, our coach, always says we want to play in a way that makes little girls want to come out and play with us. And so we try to play with a bunch of joy and fire and intensity and make it look like it's so fun because it is the most yeah. fun thing ever. But when we get to meet those girls and they come down and take pictures with us and they're crying and they're Aww. shaking, it's just like the most humbling thing ever because we're not that cool. But they definitely <laughs> think are. that and it's going to be awesome to meet them in person again. So I'm excited. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so tell me a little fun fact about yourself. So every week we've had, or every day this week, we've had someone on here, and they've told us, like, this quirky thing about themselves. So if, <laughs> you know, one thing that no one knows that you want to share for our world right now, right? This is the most random thing, and okay. I to only told my team this, like, a couple a couple oh. months ago. Oh, this, this is, is it's it's not, No, 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 no. It's not, it's not really that cool, oh. but... <laughs> When I was in elementary school, I took a Turkish class. Like, you know how people take Spanish or yeah. like French? Our mm -hmm. school offered Turkish. And so I was like relatively fluent in Turkish when I was in like fifth and sixth grade. Don't ask me to say too much I now. I was going to say, <laughs> could you give us a little I preview? Like, no, like, num like, I know like hello is merhaba. Like, I can count to 10. I'm not going to, though, because okay. now I'm going to embarrass <laughs> myself if I don't do it perfectly. Yeah. But, well, yeah, it's pretty quirky, I guess. I know another fun fact. You're a big Dallas fan. <laughs> Dallas anything. Uh, it's a bit of shame right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> yeah, um, Dallas Cowboys fan. Ma Maverick fan. I love Luka yeah. Doncic. We just got a Dirk statue put up in Dallas, so that's awesome. But the Cowboys, Yeah. it's All a tough right. team. It's tough. Yeah. But... Cowboys fan till forever. You know what? That's that's a ride or die. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's a solid ride or die for right me. There. Yeah. Okay, so I'm a Cincinnati gal. Mm -hmm. Right up the road. Are you a Cincinnati fan? I don't. Mm. I don't think I have a choice. I think I have to be. Absolutely. I, so, are you a Bengals fan? Is this is where I'm going with this? I, are oh. you a Bengals fan? I am rooting for the Bengals. <laughs> I am rooting for the Bengals. Yes. So Got to root for Joe Burrow. Yeah. Joe Burr, whatever you yeah. call him. <laughs> He's right. awesome. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yes. All right. Well, let's go ahead and start with some what's yeah. trending, shall we? Yeah, so of course, as we were just talking about, UK fans will get the chance to meet some of their favorite 2023 football and volleyball team players tomorrow. So the 15 Club Fan Fest is co-presented with Athlete Advantage. Kentucky Sports Radio will be broadcasting its pregame show live at the event. Now WKYT will also air live at 6.30 to 7 on the CW Lexington. This is all happening tomorrow at Central Bank Center at 4 o'clock. There's also a watch party for the Kentucky Kansas game at 8 and tickets are $15 and kids are from 12 are free. 
Uh, sounds like a great idea. It does. A great Saturday to just hang out with some Big Blue Nation fans. Yeah. And, Absolutely. And if you aren't able to go to the game, I know it's a hot ticket. This is a big game yeah. coming up. So. For sure. I love to be. I wish we had a whole bunch of fans or live audience right. in our live studio. Audience. Like that right. would be so cool. Yeah, like a laugh track and know, play that kind of stuff. You want to hook us up yeah, with some? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> there we go. Right. <laughs> all right. Well, as we also mentioned, today is a big day for the lovely, fabulous, fantastic. Oh, Indian. don't hide me. <laughs> I was it is her birthday, and look, I've, I've got some. Yeah. <laughs> I've got some tasty treats and surprises. We love um, treats. <laughs> Thank we, you. We go to WK, and then now oh. I woke up very early this morning, slaved over a hot <laughs> oven, and did you? I, I did. Oh, that sounds I've like you did. Four a.m. <laughs> with us. For these, yes. Whoa. I was getting my news and weather updates all morning Glazed as I baked girls. some tasty treats. <laughs> I'm they so excited. Baked. These yes. do With look the baked. Walmart tag on them. They look I really know. baked. <laughs> That's not even supposed to dish it out. <laughs> Well, Why Chad, I it is you much nice appreciated. Thing and I get <laughs> to the wolves. Thank you so much. I truly, truly appreciate it. I am. <clears throat> 30 fine years old. 30 fine. <laughs> You're 30 fine. And, um, but I, I am super grateful. Thank you so much. I've just, I came here in March, and I will say that Kentucky has just opened up its arms to me. So yeah. thank you all for allowing me to celebrate my birthday here with you all. And thank you for hanging out of with course. me. Thank you you take, know? take note, Jim Caldwell took your birthday off. Yeah, he did. And I'm here. Right? We're here. We're here. We're here. Got it. And so just remember that. I will. <laughs> Jim I, I who? Will. Jim who? Ooh! He's like Jim who? Do you see the shade <laughs> this man is throwing? Oh my just goodness. Saying. Well, thank you, family. I truly appreciate it. Yes. Well, we love you, and you are part of our family. And I love people. I love part to of hang this out family. with you. <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. So let's move forward with more, of course, with what's trending. So go ahead, Chad. It's your turn. Tickets for Kentucky Derby Festival events go on sale today. It is less than 100 days until the Derby, India. And we know how much you love the Derby each <sighs> and every year. So this includes the Pegasus Parade and the Great Steamboat Race. Festival leaders say that many of their events sell out quickly. So sales are set to begin at 10 o'clock this morning. The Derby itself will be May 6th, which is just 14 weeks from tomorrow. Okay, so... Do we have Keeneland fans here? I mean, Keelan obviously fans. I am one. Yeah, you are. You definitely have a Keeneland shirt on. <laughs> uh, it's a nice, cozy sweater. It was a perfect weather for it. Looks it. Really so, like, nice. does the team, do you all go and do like Keeneland? We go to Keeneland. Like so, in the springtime, we're in our off season right now, and we have lots of free time in the weekend. So, oh, cool. we're at Keeneland all the time. But I didn't really realize until I got here, like, you guys love horses. Yeah, yeah <laughs> it's, it's yeah. serious. It's it serious. Is serious. And so, I'm, I'm, I'm with it now, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You just have to go and participate. It's yeah. always a good time. Yes. Yeah. And it's very overwhelming. Only, I think for people who don't know like the whole betting process mm -hmm. or like what to look for with the odds yeah. or horses like do you have a strategy I just bet on the horse with the coolest name that's that's everyone's that's strategy yeah. nowadays. Nowadays. Everyone's strategy. Yeah. I, I they have little booklets and it says like how many races the horses won and I, mm -hmm. I don't pay any attention to that I just want the coolest name got it <laughs> I also have you ever won any money no okay no. That's, that tracks that's just <laughs> yeah. all of us like, absolutely no. I've never so. won but well, I've never played, so that also. Well, you never come with us to Keeneland, so. Okay, so here's the thing. We okay. love to talk about me whenever I don't come to events mm -hmm. because of the fact that I have social anxiety. So I'll okay. go, but I won't go. Right. I'll well, say I'm there going. In spirit. Right, and I'll never and show up. I'm that girl. <laughs> she is. So they love to call me Flaky D because I never D. show up. Yeah. That's fair. Just so but she's going to show up this time, and we're going to have big fun. Yes, big we fun. are. Yes. And All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> By the way, tickets go on sale for Keeneland, I think, in a couple weeks, like Does Valentine's it? Day. So what better way to get your special sub one, but Keelan tickets. Or, <laughs> or you can just get ready for the Derby and get your yes. outfit ready because the Derby is a big deal. So you, you go to the Derby. You well, here's the thing. I don't go to the Derby, okay. but I will dress up at work for the Derby. Okay. Yes. That's fair so, enough. You know, we got to throw the pink in. For Do you sure. ever get yes. dressed up and get one of those really elaborate hats? I have never dressed up for Derby. Really? Never. And okay. before I come, came to Kentucky, that's the only thing I knew about this place was yeah. bas <laughs> basketball and Derby. Yeah. Basketball and Derby. That, that's, yeah. that's that sounds us. more like yeah. Kentucky. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> well, Kentucky High School students will will soon be using lights found during a drug bust. Hmm. The Bardstown Police Department recently confiscated a set of grow lights used for cultivating marijuana, and instead of <laughs> crushing them, they're offering them to Nelson County High School's AG program. Students say the lights are going to be a great learning tool. 
So I was thrilled because it's more, more equipment that we're able to use for education and uh, producing our plants, which is always awesome because all this stuff is very expensive. So the Nelson County School Board still has to approve the donation. I mean, that's that's one way of, of teaching. Right, I know. So uh, what, what are we using these lights for here? Like, where are we going with this? I, what are we using the, the lights for? the for? action part of it. So I guess they're going to learn, like, just greenhouse stuff? I don't know. Let's hope that's what it is. <laughs> How to grow your own plants. You know, like, let's, this is going too far here, but. I think it's innovative, you know, because I know, like, a lot of police departments, if they confiscate money from a drug bust, mm -hmm. they use that money to for the department for buying new equipment oh, or things like that. So it, so it, like. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean that, police officers. We love you. So I think it's probably just one of those innovative ways and of, you know, using something that was bad and. Right. And turning it into, turning into something, something good. Like, absolutely. I would love to have something like that. I think what what is interesting is I was just watching a video of uh, our police officers. Let me just mm. specify our police here in Kentucky don't yes. do this. Right. Yeah. But there was an instance where there were two police officers and they were doing a drug bust and a raid and they went through someone's house and the woman actually caught them on camera saying, oh, she has $6,000. We can split it together. Oh. And they ended up splitting the money, 3000 a piece. And I'm like, that's, yeah. she had a yeah. ring camera in our house Busted. and so yeah it Shout just out really to rain. I know <laughs> right the cameras, they're yeah. catching everything yeah. nowadays <laughs> okay so it's your birthday it is my birthday and Friday and you love tasty treats Friday. I do but we'll I'll let you know about this one in a second so Friday is the perfect day to have your cake and eat it too yes especially if you're India Jones and it's your 35th Ew. birthday 35 <laughs> it is national chocolate cake day and who doesn't like an excuse to grab a slice of chocolate cake as for the origin of the cake itself it's believed it was first made in 1765 so much older wow. than 35 when a doctor <laughs> and a chocolate maker teamed up for the ultimate dessert. The first box cake mix was created by a company called O, Duff and Sons in the late 1920s. Betty Crocker released their first dry cake mixes in 1947. So of course, in today's live poll, we're asking, do you prefer chocolate or vanilla cake. I am a vanilla. Ah, what? looks like everybody is I'm like me. Cake, yeah. See, I love vanilla cake. So 67% say vanilla and 33% say chocolate. Chad, so I'm assuming you're a chocolate lover. Okay, so I mean, I do like a good vanilla cake, mm -hmm. but also this is my mother's mantra and I kind of agree with her. If it's not chocolate or something ooey and gooey and like flavor, like it's not worth the calories. Or you could just, you could have stopped with, if it's not chocolate. It's not chocolate. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just kidding. Right. <laughs> I'm kidding. But we understand what yeah. you're saying. No, no, no. We get it. <laughs> but yeah, so I mean, I guess we should have gotten you a vanilla cake for your birthday. Then. No, it's, it's totally fine. I'll I eat take chocolate, back the vanilla. Absolutely not. Do yeah. not take back my donuts. I got in trouble because I moved them off the set and she I was know. where are you going with those? <laughs> because here's the thing on the show, we eat during the set, we talk, we don't care. This is just a love lifestyle. We it hang is. out, we're kicking it. You know, Zani's yeah. hanging with us. She could eat a donut while she's talking. Could eat a donut. Calories you know don't count on your birthday. Absolutely. I don't think they count ever. Or, uh, <laughs> right? <laughs> I we love, love this it. already. She's just, we enjoy hanging out with her. Yeah. So make sure to vote. You can always go on our Instagram or check us out uh, on Facebook at Everyday Kentucky KY. Yeah.